Okay. Um, people have a lot of questions um, in the comment sections that are related to problems they may be having with various sensors or other components. Some of them don't even exist on these Honda Accords, so we're kind of just today. The point of this video is to review what uh, is on this engine. <laughs> so we're gonna try to get familiar with um, this K-series Honda motor right now. Here is our mass airflow sensor, uh, also known as MAF. All right, the mass airflow sensor here is detecting the air coming into the engine. So if you have any problems with leaks around the air intake hose, or if the sensor is disconnected or or damaged, uh, you, you'll definitely have problems with the engine running. Uh, this sensor here is the Manifold Absolute Pressure Sensor, or MAP. The uh, Manifold Absolute Pressure Sensor is detecting air pressure um, behind the throttle body. And uh, older Hondas actually only had that sensor. The newer ones now have the mass airflow sensor as well. Um, so that's something it, uh, to be aware of right there. Um, on the back of the throttle body here is the... Uh, motor that actuates a throttle. Um, throttle is computer controlled and it also acts as an idle controller. Alright, on the throttle body here, this is different, quite different from older designs. The older Hondas, um, well, for one thing, the throttle body is actuated by a cable. Um, there's no cable here, it's electronically controlled by the computer. And there's this motor here that is uh, opening and closing the throttle inside. And they also eliminated the idle controller. Um, the idle controller used to be mounted somewhere on the intake manifold. They don't have it anymore. Um, that's all handled through this um, computer controlled motor back here. And so it's actually quite simple, but you need to pay attention to uh, your throttle, um, your throttle body and keeping it clean because that can affect the idle quality and and uh, give you some problems if it's not kept clean and in good shape. Okay, here's that throttle actuating motor right back here. And that's what does all the work. All right, so there is still a throttle cable here that's uh, actuated by your gas pedal. And it goes to this electronic unit here, which is where they've also relocated the throttle position sensor here. And uh, if you look closely, there's a slotted hole, so it actually has adjustability to um, to move the throttle position. But uh, as you can see, it's it's set with a rivet, and they painted it because uh, you're not supposed to mess with that. Uh, back here is our EGR valve, which is stands for exhaust gas recirculation. Our EGR valve here. Um, what it does is it reintroduces exhaust gas into, it sends them back from the exhaust into the intake manifold. And what that effectively does is it lowers uh, combustion temperatures and reduces emissions. So this is totally for emissions, although the way the engine is designed, if it's malfunctioning, it's probably gonna affect performance as well. Um, it doesn't, it shouldn't require any cleaning or maintenance. Uh, there, it has large passages and um, pretty unlikely they're gonna get clogged up as opposed to older designs when they were very small and they did get clogged. Uh, under this cover it is our coils. Uh, this doesn't have a distributor. There are just, there is one coil for each cylinder, four of them under that cover. All right, four bolts hold this cover on and underneath you'll find your four coils yeah, one, two, three, four. Um, this newer setup, newer style of um, ignition system just has coils directly mounted to the spark plugs. They're underneath the coils there. And uh, there's no distributor, so when you go to do a tune-up on this car, you're not going to replace any cap or rotor or spark plug wires. They don't exist. So you just replace the plugs, and if you have a problem with the coil, well, probably going to set off the check engine light and you have a misfire so um, that's pretty much it for the ignition system. Under the front cover here you're going to find your four fuel injectors 
Here's the fuel line, it leads up to the fuel rail here. Okay, under this front cover, you'll find your fuel injectors. Uh, you got one, two, three, four injectors right there. Obviously those control the fuel. Um, and that's how you access them, just two nuts that hold the plastic cover on. So on the side of the head, this is the engine coolant temperature sensor, or ECT. Alright, the engine coolant temperature sensor, which is, uh, or ECT, right here next to the EGR, is um, reading the temperature of the engine based on the coolant temperature, obviously. <laughs> and uh, the fuel injection system is using that information uh, in order to function properly. Behind the ECT is your camshaft position sensor. Uh, it's a very small sensor hidden right next to the EGR there. Alright, the camshaft position sensor right here is uh, basically detecting the rotation of the engine based on the uh, exhaust cam right there. And uh, that is one of the key sensors as well in order to uh, keep the engine running.